Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. My name is Alex, and uh, let's just have a quick check if you can see and uh, if you can hear me properly, please uh, send us a message in the chat. All right, all right, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hello, or whatever time of day it is uh, where you are. Okay. Um, so let's start with a quick introduction. I'll go first. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm the product owner here at MyWebAR. Uh, I have over six years of experience in augmented reality, and uh, I worked over um, I worked on more than one thousand cases during these uh, six years. And uh, today I'll be happy to tell you about augmented reality in marketing and. Uh, how you can use it uh, and give you some ideas on how you can apply it in your business. Um, so you can introduce yourselves in the chat. Uh, you can find it in the lower right corner of uh, our webinar platform. And uh, yeah. Let's just wait a couple of minutes till everyone is ready and uh, is connected to our webinar, and then we'll begin. Hi to all connection is good. Glad to hear that. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Okay, I think we're good to go. So uh, let's start with the basics. Um, in the lower right corner of your screen, you can see uh, different buttons for um, chat. You can see the button for questions and the button for polls. Uh, we also have our team members, uh, the members of MyWebAR here today that will help me to answer some of your questions. They will be in the chat as well. So um, you will also see some polls during our webinar so uh, feel free to vote for the option that relates to you the most. Uh, also important to note that all participants of today's webinar will get a 10% discount on any premium plan in the end of the webinar. So stay tuned and uh, in the end you will get the coupon code. So uh, let's start with today's agenda. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to have a brief introduction uh, about our service, how it was created, the main idea behind it, the company behind it. Uh, then we'll cover the benefits of augmented reality in marketing and uh, how you can use it and uh, what you will get by using augmented reality. Uh, then we'll talk about our platform, MyWebAR, uh, its features and capabilities and what you can do with it. Uh, we'll talk about the AR usage analytics that allows you to understand your audience and uh, keep track of the performance of your augmented reality experiences. We'll also talk about branded and white label experiences because I know that 
a lot of companies are interested in completely white label augmented reality experiences when they come to uh, a development company. They always ask about uh, creating uh, an augmented reality experience that features their company logo, their company colors, uh, their company website, etc. cetera. Uh, and uh, in the end, we'll also have a live showcase where I will, I will show you the uh, editor and how you can use it to create augmented reality experiences without a single line of code. Uh, because my WebVR is uh, mainly uh, the easy to use editor that uh, was founded with the idea that not only developers can create AR. And uh, of course, after that, we'll have a live Q&A session where you will be able to ask your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, all right, so. Uh, MyWebAR is actually a service developed by Devar, a leading augmented reality and digital company with over eight years of experience in the field of augmented reality, 13 technology patents, uh, in-house computer vision technologies and over 30 international awards, including uh, leaders in AR, VR, XR, uh, top 60 AR, VR learning companies, uh, a finalist in OGI awards in multiple categories. And uh, our CEO, Anna Belova, uh, has also um, won a Forbes 30 under 30. So um, we designed MyWebVR uh, as an easy to use platform that makes augmented reality accessible to everyone. We took all our years of experience in creation of augmented reality and uh, wanted to create a platform that um, will allow anyone to create AR experiences, not just developers, not just professional creators. Um, we wanted to create a solution that allows you to uh, make augmented reality experience using a simple drag and drop editor. So uh, our service actually consists of two important parts. First of all is an editor that runs in your web browser without any software installation. Uh, you can uh, even edit and create your augmented reality experiences on the go because you can also run our editor on your mobile phone, a smartphone, a tablet, uh, any device with a web browser and internet connection, basically. Uh, and also an easy to, to view, um, uh, our augmented reality experiences created on MyWebAR are easy to view, easy to access, because they are also available in web browsers without any software installation. And they run across a wide variety of mobile devices, including iOS and Android. Uh, we, are, we also support low-end and uh, some of the legacy devices uh, because it's basically a web browser and it's not limited by the operating system. And our uh, augmented reality experiences are also available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Um, basically all you need is an up-to-date web browser and uh, a relatively capable device to run uh, MyWebAR on them. Um, so yeah, these are the two important parts. Now let's talk about uh, the benefits of augmented reality in marketing. Uh, augmented reality allows uh, brands to create unique experiences that use mobile devices, things that uh, everyone has in their pocket. And uh, what's more, more important is that uh, these days you don't even need to install an app. For example, if you have a marketing campaign and you want uh, users to experience it on their mobile device, uh, now all they need to do is scan a QR code or open a link on your website, uh, tap a certain button on the website, uh, and the camera will launch uh, right in their web browser and they will see the AR experience that you have created. So augmented reality merges the physical and digital worlds, allowing you to uh, enrich packaging and give users extra information about the product, create fun experiences and memorable brands, brand interactions. Uh, bring mascots to life in, uh, in the real world uh, with different interactions and uh, increase brand recognition. Uh, let users preview goods before they buy them to boost sales. So basically, there are multiple applications here. 
and the only limit to what you can do is your own creativity. Um, so now let's talk about what you can achieve with augmented reality and how it actually affects and influences uh, shoppers, consumers, and uh, your audience. So uh, multiple surveys show that augmented reality and marketing brings higher conversion rates, uh, boosts brand recognition, and increases customer loyalty. 94% of products advertised, uh, sorry, uh, products advertised with AR saw 94% higher conversion rate. 78% uh, of people think AR is a cool way to interact, uh, to interact with a brand. 50% uh, uh, of consumers better recall brands that regularly engage them with immersive technologies. And 47% say immersive technologies make them feel connected with the products. So uh, these are some of the numbers and you can find a lot more you know, in this field of research. Uh, so you can add augmented reality to uh, your products in a variety of ways. And uh, now we are going to talk about the specifics and I will show you some of the examples. So first of all, uh, you can make use of the physical packaging, the boxes that you have of your products. For example, whether it's uh, a phone box, whether it's a cookie box, uh, you can add augmented reality to packaging using uh, image recognition. So you're just adding augmented reality to the top cover of your box. Uh, so what you can do with it, uh, you can let customers preview what's inside the box without them actually opening it, uh, which is very important, for example, with smartphones where you have a sealed box and uh, the customers can't open it un unless they pay for it. Uh, you can also provide extra information about the product in an eco-friendly way. What it means is that you can reduce amount of paper that you're using for instruction manuals, for uh, packaging, for uh, different leaflets that you put into the box. Uh, you can bring your brand mascots to life in augmented reality, like you see here with the cookie box. So it's not just uh, the practical application where um, there is some extra information or anything. It can be just fun uh, because it allows you to create memorable experiences and uh, the customers will remember your brand and uh, will make the decision uh, when they have, uh, for example, two brands, the one that doesn't use augmented reality and the other that has dancing cookies in their cookie box. Uh, another idea here is product packaging and uh, it comes to beverage containers. It can be different uh, containers such as bottles, cups, cans. Uh, so uh, it just requires a trackable label or design as a flat image. So um, you just need the design of your label that you have on your bottle or um, the design of your can and you upload it into MyWebAR as an image target and add augmented reality all around the uh, cylinder shaped object uh, and you can even place something on top of it. Uh, as you can see in this video here, uh, the container also covers augmented reality content when you move around it, when you view it from different angles. This is achieved using the occlusion plugin in my WebAR and uh, this is also uh, really easy to use and does not require you to write a single line of code. This is just edit in the editor, drag and drop. Um, so again, you can also um, provide more information about the products in augmented reality and you can create fun experiences. And uh, as you can see in this case, you can also add a photo and video button so that users can uh, take photos and videos with your product and share them on social media. Uh, when it comes to printed media, augmented reality allows you to add new dimension to posters, leaflets, billboards, postcards, books, and more. It allows you to enhance your already printed products and add them additional value uh, without actually adding uh, anything to, to the existing design, design, for example. For example. You, don't need, you don't need to print pages, 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 pages. Uh, the whole content, uh, this, uh, this additional value comes from, it's digital. digital. Uh, 
Okay. They can be edited even after the book has been published, for example, or the postcard has been printed. So the idea here is to create uh, experiences people will want to share with their friends. Oh, sorry. Um, the most popular example is to bring photos and printed images to life using a video overlay. So you have a still image uh, on the cover of your book and you can animate it with a video by adding uh, just an animated layer on top of it. This is really simple to build and uh, it takes like under five minutes. So uh, you can start with this and then make more complex experiences like with buttons. Uh, I will show you later. Uh, <clears throat> so we also have real wor world experiences. And here a great idea would be to create a preview for your customers so that they can uh, see what the product will look like without actually buying it or go into the store. And you can even create previews with product variants like you saw with the armchair where you can switch between different uh, colors. Uh, you can embed product previews into your online store or website as you have seen in the beginning where you have a little button in your product uh, in the, on the page of your product. And when user taps on it, they get into the augmented reality camera. And yeah, here it is. And uh, you can also create uh, virtual showrooms with augmented reality portals. This is a real cool feature and we've been experimenting with it a lot. So uh, you can create a virtual room uh, and you can enter it by walking with your mobile device in hand. And you can see what's inside and you can add different <clears throat> items here, different products, etc. Okay, so now let's talk about my web AR, its features and capabilities and um, what you can do with it and how you can do with it. <coughs> so um, why my web AR? Uh, augmented reality that you create with my web AR is actually available in web browsers. So no apps are required for download from the side of the end users. <coughs> and uh, this is important because today, as you might know, uh, users don't like to download and install new apps. They have uh, a certain amount of core apps that they have that do most of the work. And um, most users today uh, download one or less app per month. So when you have an augmented reality campaign for marketing, um, it can be hard to convince the uh, customer, the consumer to download a separate app to just experience this um, one augmented reality scene on your product packaging. Um, so here, uh, augmented real uh, so here, WebAR comes to help, and um, it just works in web browsers. So no app, no app uh, installation is required. Uh, then we have uh, in-house computer vision technology. It's important because it allows us to uh, support devices that are not. <clears throat> support devices not supported by other existing solutions. And uh, <clears throat> it allows us to run MyWebAR even on low-end devices, legacy devices. For example, you can run it on iPhone 6, you can run it on Android as low as Android 6, I think. Um, yeah, so this uh, cross-platform editor and viewer supporting low-end devices. Uh, then you have hassle-free cloud storage and easy publishing, uh, which means that we take um, cloud storage on our side. Uh, so you just upload the content into the editor and it's stored on our servers. And when you click publish, the augmented reality experience gets instantly available to all end users. Uh, there is no approval. There is no verification like in, as you might know, uh, when you are publishing an app on App Store or Google Play, there is a certain approval period where you have to wait for the app to be available to your end users. Or for example, if you have not just created a new app, if you, ha if you already have an app on the store, 
but you need to create a seasonal update for Halloween, for example, or Christmas. And uh, you need to wait a certain time for the changes to take effect because the update is not instantly available. You need to wait for the App Store team to approve it. With MyWebAR, you click power on the Publish button and uh, it's already available, just like this. And you can edit your existing experiences. Um, for example, you want it to have uh, one model today and you want to change it to a different model tomorrow. You can do that just by publishing it again. Uh, and we also have transparent pricing with a, a completely unlimited option uh, because sometimes it's hard to estimate how many users your augmented reality campaign is going to have. And uh, with MyWebAR's unlimited plan, you can go with unlimited amount of scams. So, MyWebAR currently allows you to create four types of augmented reality experiences, including QR code tracking, image tracking, uh, curved image tracking, and world tracking and SLAM. QR code tracking allows you to add augmented reality on top of QR codes. So, uh, the QR code actually serves as an entry point. Uh, so, when the user opens their iPhone camera, they scan the QR code and they get redirected to the MyWebAR web page that allows them to see <coughs> augmented reality experiences. Uh, with image tracking, uh, they can see augmented reality content on top of custom images that you upload into the platform. With curved image tracking, uh, you can add augmented reality to bottle labels, coffee cups, uh, cans, etc. We have already covered it in the uh, ideas in the video that I showed you. And the world tracking and SLAM allow you to uh, let customers experience augmented reality in their own environment. So uh, they don't need any markers, any QR codes, anything. We also have multi-scene projects. Uh, multi-scene plot... <coughs> Uh, Multi-scene projects allow you to combine several image tracking projects into one uh, where AR camera can recognize multiple Im images without you actually switching between different web pages. So it's not like one web page can only recognize one image. Uh, in this case, you can, for example, have a QR code or printed somewhere on your book. And when the user scans this QR code, they get into my WebAR web page with the camera that allows them to experience uh, your AR content. And then every page in the book can work using this same camera without uh, them doing any extra work, without them visiting a different web page or scanning a different QR code. So uh, the main idea of my WebAR is the simplicity and uh, no-code approach to creation of augmented reality. That's why the basic editor available to everyone on all plans, uh, both free and premium, uh, it allows you to just drag and drop content on the scene, uh, as, uh, adjust its position and size, uh, and uh, publish it using just one button. It's that easy. So let's see how it works. Uh, in the middle here, you have the 3D workspace, and uh, on the left side, you can see the AR content panel, where you can see different types of objects that you can add, including images, videos, 3D models, audios, texts, and more. On the right side, you can see the properties panel, where you can uh, adjust and fine tune the content that you add. So, uh, in this case, we're going to add a 3D model from the library, So you can see that it appeared on the scene. We can adjust its size. And uh, we can move it around to wherever we, we want it to be on the scene. And uh, you can see also on the right side of the screen, we have the properties panel. It's now active with appearance, action, and settings tab, where we can adjust the 
position, assign different actions to your augmented reality content and adjust its settings. And by clicking on the publish button, it's now live. That's how it works. So uh, to make your augmented reality experience uh, interactive, you can also add actions and buttons to it. And uh, it allows you to uh, play videos by clicking on a button or play 3D animations or open a specific web page, compose an email, make a phone call um, and more. And again, this is all done using pre-built behaviors and you don't need any code. Uh, let me show you how it works. So you can see that we have our cookie character here on the scene and we have an image that will work as a button. We go to the actions tab and uh, we remove the default behavior that will play the model animation on start once the experience loads and we'll add the play model animation on click behavior instead. And here in the event source, we will select the icon that we use as the button. So if we launch the preview now, you'll see that the character is static by default, but if we click on a button, it begins its little dance. Um, advanced users uh, can use the Pro Editor available on the unlimited plan and it allows you to run custom code and it allows you to work with uh, 3D models, it's their materials, textures and shaders. So uh, this uh, Pro Editor actually allows you to expand the available functionality uh, to go beyond the pre-built behaviors that we have in the basic editor. So. Uh, it allows you to, to create more flexible and personalized experiences. And uh, we also understand that uh, when you're running a marketing campaign, it's very important to uh, provide analytics and to assess the performance of your augmented reality experiences. That's why we have the analytics dashboard that allows you to see how many users have scanned your augmented reality experiences, uh, how many projects you have, how many projects you have published. And uh, you can also get some details about your demographics. For example, uh, you can see uh, the location of the users uh, that used your augmented reality experience. You can see the division by country. You can see what browsers they're using, what devices and the operating system. And uh, it allows you to uh, add digital layer to the, the physical world. Because, for example, if you have a printed book, uh, in the old days, you could not assess which page is the most popular. Uh, but now, with augmented reality, you can see, um, for example, if you have a book with multiple pages coming alive in augmented reality, you can see which one is the more successful, if you have a kid's book, for example. And uh, you can adjust the content that you produce in the future uh, accordingly. Uh, so uh, we, we also understand that uh, a lot of companies that want uh, augmented reality experiences and they come to uh, development companies, for example, or agencies, they want white label experiences that are featuring on, only, their black, only their brand, only their brand colors, etc. And uh, my will be and the premium plans of MyWebAR allow you to remove uh, all watermarks and all branding related to MyWebAR. Uh, and the unlimited plan also allows you to add your own welcome screen, custom domain, uh, an animated preloader, and a company logo to your augmented reality experience. Um, so uh, if we talk about pricing, we have three, pla three plans right now. Uh, and uh, the premium plans are also available on the monthly and yearly basis. So we have the free forever plan, which allows you to create augmented reality experiences that work on QR codes or in the real world. Uh, it features the easy to use editor and uh, it allows you to create up to five augmented reality experiences. And it also have a little um, scans limit that allows you to test everything and see if it works for you. Um, but it also has a MyWebAR watermark that you cannot uh, remove in your AR experiences. Uh, 
So we have uh, the basic plan, uh, which allows you to create augmented reality on custom images. So it includes image tracking and curved image tracking. It allows you to connect your own custom domain and it allows you to create up to 50 augmented reality experiences. It also unlocks the analytics dashboard that allows you to keep track of the performance of your AR experiences. And it, it uh, allows you to remove, remove the, the, the array of branding and watermarks. And then, and then you have the unlimited plan. Uh, the unlimited plan actually allows you to uh, have unlimited scans and storage. Sorry. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, and the unlimited plan also allows you to have unlimited scans and storage by connecting external uh, server or cloud storage. For example, you can use Dropbox to store your augmented reality assets. In this case, you do not pay for scans. So you can have augmented reality experiences that can be used unlimited amount number of times. Uh, it also features the support for uh, multi-marker AR experiences or multi-scene, as we talked about it earlier, which basically allows you to combine several uh, image tracking projects into one uh, with uh, one camera that can recognize multiple images. Uh, it also unlocks the Pro Editor uh, that allows you to create uh, custom behaviors and run custom code using 3.js. Yeah, it allows you to connect a custom server and it unlocks the access to white label AR experiences where you can customize the welcome page, the loader, and add your own watermark or company logo into the camera view. Uh, all premium plans also have a free 14-day trial period, so you can try um, uh, using all premium features and uh, make a decision after the 14-day period. Uh, so yeah, and uh, now we can go and switch to the Q&A session. Uh, we can answer some of your questions here. So let's see. Uh, okay, so uh, is your solution making use of iPhone LiDAR scanner? Um, we are actually currently working. We have something under development, including the LiDAR scanner, uh, and it's very exciting, and uh, it will be coming later this year, which will allow you to create holograms using the scanner. So you will be able to create holograms of people without uh, using an expensive studio, without renting uh, expensive studios just by using a phone that you have. So if you have more technical questions regarding the 3D models, for example, you can always uh, contact our support team at hello at mywebr.com and uh, they will provide the details on uh, the technicalities. Uh, which is your main target, free users, freelancers, or agencies brands? Uh, we actually have multiple uh, User, user categories here, because uh, we work with agencies and uh, brands. We also use, we, we also work with uh, freelancers. Uh, we also have a separate plan for education, 
uh, because we believe that augmented reality works great for education and it's very visual and uh, allows to engage students like nothing else. Um, we also work with uh, artists that can create augmented reality experiences on their art. Uh, we work with art galleries that can create virtual exhibitions. Um, so we're not limited to just some of the uh, user categories. Um, do you foresee your company breaking into NFT minting? Uh, I know that some of our customers are already using MyWebR for NFT. So yeah, you're free to use, um, you're free to add augmented reality experiences to your existing NFT, for example. Uh, but uh, we'll see about ourselves working with NFT, actually. So uh, I think we'll try to make it easier for uh, our users to integrate our augmented reality experiences into their NFTs. How secure is the data once it goes to Dropbox or other cloud servers? Uh, our cloud servers have multiple layers of security, uh, both the uh, technical part that renders the libraries that allow you to recognize images, work with uh, the editor, and uh, the storage that you keep your files on. When it comes to Dropbox, you would need to uh, contact them about their policies because um, basically you're just linking a file from their server. So uh, it's just imported from them. Uh, what are your current bottlenecks? Um, well, it's hard to say. We're trying to make augmented reality as accessible to everyone. So we're always working to improve the performance because uh, we believe that it's very important to run on the lowest, um, like on the, mo on the least capable devices because it actually al al um, allows you to uh, work with emerging markets. It allows our customers work with emerging markets that might not have the latest iPhones as the majority of their user base. So uh, we're basically trying to make augmented reality as accessible and as affordable as it can be to everyone. Uh, do I need 3D models or are present on the platform? Um, so yeah, we have uh, a content library that is available on all premium plans and uh, it's always expanding. We're always working to add more and uh, there is a big update uh, coming soon that will bring other content libraries as well. We have recently integrated uh, Sketchfab so that you can import free models from Sketchfab, and uh, you can also uh, import the models that you purchased uh, using your Sketchfab account. Uh, but you can also uh, simply upload uh, the FBX or GLB files from your local computer or mobile device. Uh, you can work with uh, 3D using Blender and uh, export your content into GLB. This is the most uh, compatible and uh, the best for performance file format.
I'm a beginner and I want to know what type of 3D modeling will support by your panel. Uh, well, again, uh, the I would say that Blender is the best option to get started with. Uh, it's really easy to use and you can find lots of tutorials on YouTube. Uh, so you can get started with uh, basic 3D creation. You can start with basic animations such as movement uh, around uh, in the environment and then you can move on to more advanced uh, topics such as skeletal animations, character animations. Uh, what are your limitations on poly count? Actually, if we're speaking about limitations uh, on 3D models and uh, any other content type, uh, there is an important thing to keep in mind is that augmented reality that works in a web browser uh, does not uh, require any app. So uh, the user actually downloads all the content that you have in your web VR experience in the moment when they launch uh, the web page, when they open the web page. So, um, it's important to keep this in mind because uh, larger files might uh, produce certain performance hits on uh, user devices depending on their, uh, on the model of their devices, how powerful it is on one side and the network that they're using for uh, their internet connection, whether it's Wi-Fi or it's cellular network, it's uh, LTE or 5G already. So, um, I would say that uh, we would we usually recommend that you keep your uh, augmented reality uh, assets that you use in your scene under 10 to 15 megabytes to make sure that it runs smoothly on all types of devices and all types of internet connections. Uh, can I make can I make a mask for faces with your panel uh, or is your panel support face detection? Uh, not uh, well uh, Face tracking is coming in the next update real soon and you will be able to create face filters and you will be able to uh, Create augmented reality experiences that allow users for example to try on glasses uh, keeping track of their faces uh, or try on hats so uh, this is an upcoming feature and it will be available soon. Uh, is it possible to build your own commercial app using your SDK? Uh, we are currently developing uh, an API support for developers so that uh, you can build uh, a website or a service that will make calls to our API and, uh, for example, create certain types of projects on our end or uh, add certain types of objects into your existing project or replace it with different type of, pro of uh, object. So uh, the API support will be coming later this year and uh, it will allow you to build custom uh, services and products uh, using our service.
Yeah, and we'll also share the presentation uh, by email after the webinar. Uh, so you can use this promo code webinar10 uh, till the end of the day today to get a 10% discount on any premium plan. I think that's it. Uh, uh, Thank you for joining us today. And, uh, you will receive a webinar recording after the end of this event. Uh, you will also receive a, a copy of our presentation. And uh, don't forget to use your 10% discount till the end of the day today if you want to upgrade and get a promo offer. So uh, thank you for joining us.